Hello, this is Mark with Bailey Software. In this tutorial, we'll set up a new account by retrieving transactions and positions using the new Portfolio Wizard. When you first start Fund Manager, the new Portfolio Wizard may come up, or if it's not already up, you can go to File, New Portfolio Wizard to open it. Just enter a name for your account, and you can leave the account number blank usually. Um, and we'll just let Fund Manager query the account numbers for your login from the broker. So just enter the portfolio name and click Next. Select your broker from the list. We're going to use uh, TD Ameritrade. And enter your login information just as you would on the website and again leave the account number blank. And We're going to choose for this tutorial to retrieve transactions and positions. This will get all the available transactions as far back as your broker has them and also the current positions and it will make any necessary adjustments in order to get your current balances correct. This is the easiest method to get started. So we'll just select that and choose next. And you can see that uh, Fund Manager asked TD Ameritrade for a list of account numbers and this was the one account number that um, they had. So we'll select that and it finished the retrieve and then now the wizard is asking us what do we want to use for our default cash account and I know that in this account the money market is the default cash account and we'll go ahead and leave this option selected because all buys and sells and dividends should have a corresponding entry in the default cash account. Just select next. And then you can see a listing of all your retrieved investments and if there's more than 10 uh, just page through them by going to the next button. After you've taken a look at the retrieved investments just go ahead and select next. And now you're given the opportunity to retrieve historical prices. Um, so we'll go ahead and say retrieve now. And this dialog box asks you how far back you want to retrieve prices. We'll just, for the sake of this tutorial, go back to the beginning of the year. And since we're already retrieving transactions from the broker, we don't want to also request splits and dividends from Yahoo, so we'll leave these options unchecked. And just press OK. And wait for the prices to come down from Yahoo. If you have any symbols in your account that are no longer available, you may get a message like this saying that it couldn't find them on Yahoo, but that's okay. We'll just manually enter a price for them, and we don't want to look at the log file. So it shows us here that 15 of 16 investments were updated, and we're going to press the next button, and it'll give us an opportunity to manually enter a price for any um, of our retrieved investments and this investment it couldn't find a price for because it it's no longer a valid symbol we'll just enter one for now and the last step is simply to select where where in your sub portfolio hierarchy you would like to add this new uh, account and we're just going to put it directly under the top level master portfolio okay now our account's been set up uh, we'll take a closer look at it in the portfolio editor and just to double check everything was retrieved correctly, uh, we'll go ahead and reconcile this account. So when you reconcile, you're comparing the share balances in Fund Manager to a statement source. So we're going to get our statement from the broker. And it found that all 16 investments are balanced, and so it doesn't show anything here. Um, this only shows items that are not balanced. If you want to see everything, you can turn this on. And we have another tutorial that goes into using the reconciliation feature in more detail. But we'll go ahead and click finish to this. You may want to hide investments that you no longer own. Uh, for example, this Dow 
investment you can see we have zero shares of it you can manually hide by going to the properties and under the other tab turn on hidden if you have a lot of investments that need to be hidden you can do it in bulk using file file operation hide sold investments there's also another tutorial on how to work with hidden investments but we won't go into that too much here after you've set up your first account you can just repeat the same process to set up any additional accounts and they'll all be added here underneath master portfolio just go back to file new portfolio wizard after you've set up all your accounts you're going to want to save your data uh, there's two types of data files in fund manager there is an investment file and there's a portfolio file Every single investment is saved as its own investment file where it has the transactions and properties of that investment stored in a file. And then your whole workspace is stored in a portfolio file. So to save, you just say file, save all investments. And then the first time you save your portfolio, you do need to give it a name. So just say file, save portfolio as, and give it any name that you want, and save it. And typically your data will automatically be saved for you when you exit or you can just always choose file save all investments or file save portfolio after you exit fund manager and restart it your last open portfolio file will automatically be reopened so that everything comes back just the way you left it the last time okay thanks for watching this getting started tutorial